Hi. Feng Shui. Feng Shui. Feng Shui. Feng Shui. Yeah. I'll get that right. It's going to be a couple videos coming at you on Feng Shui. You know, it's dated um, back or believed to be dated back over 6,000 years ago. The Chinese dynasty. It's an art of placement. Yeah, pretty old. People have been doing it for a real long time. It's believed that it helps draw positive energy into a building or a room or a space or an area that can be indoors or outdoors. Feng Shui translates into the word water and wind. Feng meaning water and Shui meaning wind which translate further into good health and good fortune. Yeah. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Remember, subscribe. Comment below. What do you think of Feng Shui? Has it worked for you? Have you tried it? Hmm. Are you planning on it? There's tons of topics. There's gonna to be more videos just like this coming at you. Feng Shui works in placement of items, things and energy in a whole house, in a whole building, in a single room, gardens and other outdoor spaces, and locally to smaller places within that room or space. The placement of things or items, objects within other spaces can have an effect on the areas of your life, including love and relationships, better health, career success. It creates calmness and peace, increased wealth. Who doesn't want more money? <laughs> Prosperity, abundance. Yeah, feng shui. Those are just to name a few benefits. See, feng shui, aids in the flow of energy in your home, in your space. It's known as chi energy. There's so many topics in Feng Shui. Chi energy is what we're talking about at this point in this video. Chi energy, it's the charge of electromagnetic energy. It's the connection of people's emotional energy. It's a mixture of energy that's largely responsible for how you feel. It's the feeling energy, the chi. Part of chi is known as the yin and yang of energy. Yin being the slow, cooler energy, and yang being the more fast, and hotter energy. <laughs> These energies affect how you feel and how you feel is affected by Qi which is directly related to your Feng Shui. Yeah. There's a bunch of different schools of Feng Shui and there's more videos coming so don't you worry. Yin and Yang it's one of my best topics. I love it. It's a favorite of mine. So the different schools of Feng Shui sometimes contradict each other. And the types may include the compass Feng Shui or the non-compass. Three gate, eight mansions, the flying star Feng Shui, eight directions. And each of these have their own beliefs and their own practices. Yeah, we're gonna sort through all this stuff. Not to worry. I got your back. Yeah. We're gonna learn a lot about feng shui. Teachings and doings and practicing. 
implement this stuff into your daily life, you will feel better. No question about it. Yeah. So, for more teachings like this, watch more videos like this. My videos, my, my Feng Shui series is coming at you. Yeah, for you. For me to teach and learn, and for you to practice, teach, and learn. Practice, teach, and learn. Oh my goodness. This is gonna be a fun journey. I am so excited. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. See ya!